Do you know why you're not TIG welding plywood? No. That wouldn't be wise. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh! This is the Vintergatan master plan for all the steps leading up to the world tour. I am currently pushing the rock up this Marble Machine X hill. I have been spending two and a half years of my life on this hillside, trying, trying and trying again to make the Marble Machine X work. Let's go one level deeper and look at the Marble Machine X assembly progress. Here we can see that we've done quite a lot and that we're coming closer to completion. Today I hope to finish the symbol and get to tick another star off. So here below, we have the symbol yep. and the marbles are gonna drop from here and I just started designing the symbol marble drop. So what do you think Marius? Yeah, looks good. It's a complicated design to manufacture but gonna be good. Not really for me but... Yeah, the only thing, so the, the thing that goes on... So it's super nice that sometimes to not be so planned. It's not really like super designed, but I know kind of where we're going, so we can do it a little bit more improvised, which is fun. This is the one. What do you like my Marie Kondo project? <laughs> I found some stuff that didn't spark me joy. So this is the beginning of the symbol marble drop saga. Mm. Two small pipes, they're gonna become something fantastic. Don't put metal shards in your eyes, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I just made a cruel welding up of these pipes. Now I'm grinding the weld flat here. Now I need to add some features. I'm gonna weld them on. I'm gonna make uh, four squares. So it's 30 wide. So these are going to go something like this. That's red color, M8. Tap? Yeah, yes. Here. Ah. On the drawer that says taps. Of course. I tried to make a Ricky Gervais there. I don't know if I succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> was it spot on or was it? Okay. Uh, two out of that. Two. <laughs> Thank you. So this is gonna go like that, that's gonna go like this, and this is gonna go through them. It's gonna be an axle for some pivots that are gonna release the marbles. One of those washers gives me the correct space, see? Mm. I want this to end up center on this pipe. Now that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm just thinking how to access the welds points. I put smaller washers inside so I can actually access to weld here and there. So for things like this, to position them correctly, I always use some magnets from the marble machine. So these programming magnets are perfect. Now the thing is with this piece, I'm gonna use the Frank Howarth technique again, so I'm gonna cut it clean in the end. So I can actually hide my crimes very efficiently on this piece. I'm gonna split it in two. Now we have two. Ooh. So now I'm checking the drop distance because I have a unison marble drop distance from the drop to the instruments. You hold it against the symbol. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, good. Against the symbol. Okay, thank you. It's gonna be a pivot in here. You see that has a good fit. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna open up like this. Since the symbol is so far down in the machine, this is a one-off solution just for the symbol. symbol marble release that I've been working on is finally coming onto the machine. There. Weld into the frame? Yep. Okay. 
I'm impressed at least. Well, that's my goal in life. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna mold this on the machine. So what I'm doing nowadays is that I'm warming up a much larger section before I usually only warmed up one spot. But I'm now warming up 10 centimeters until this becomes spaghetti, cooked spaghetti. <laughs> There's some spaghettiness coming up. And now, quick. In place there, and now I can just mold the top. Oh. Let's try a marble. Whoa. Oh, I love it. And now I can just make a copy of this pipe because we want two of the same. So this is the removable marble transition for the symbol channels that I talked about in the 38 is a magical number video. So it goes there. It's gonna be like this. See the marble there? When this pulled up. So next step is for me to make the link from this here in front of these pipes and down to these moving things. Oh. So that little detent I just made with the puncher, the tip of the drill will find that little detent. Now we just need to make two. So I've been freehand bending this bend. Now I'm gonna copy it onto the second channel. And all the engineers that I'm working with, they don't like freehand bending. Is that true, Alex? But check this out. That looks awful. <laughs> now I'm gonna check this out now. This is how you do it, kids. Don't be scared of freehand bending. Engineers of the world, don't fear freehand bending. <laughs> I fixed a hole in the end of the second one. It's preparing the bolt. This is really, really, really fun. I get inspired seeing Marius and uh, Alex work. Yeah, Look, what, is you, what are you doing? <laughs> He's just having fun with latex. <laughs> the latex. It's the new kinetic fingers design. We're gonna, we want a more human, uh, human uh, touch. <laughs> so, um, Marius Don't is experimenting it. with uh, latex as a vibraphone damper and bouncer. And so far it's really promising. Yes, ready? One, two. World premiere, symbol played by the programming system on the Marble Machine X. Ting, 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 ting. It worked! Where's the high five? Yes. I'm gonna guide the marble so they hit the edge a little bit better. They hit a little bit further in on the symbol now. I'm gonna guide them a little bit. There's some more adjustments, but this is amazing for being a improvisation. So yesterday I built these two test drops 
uh, here and right now I'm making the proper one a little bit longer one and I'm gonna make a little bend here so I can guide the marbles to hit exactly where I want the marbles to hit on the symbol. It's important for the marbles to go to the left because we need to have them joining all the other marbles on these slopes here. If you're bending PMA pipes, corn flour starch is so brilliant for this. It slides really easily. Work fast, like that. Actually perfect. So I'm making the second pipe. So now I need to cut this window in the new pipe. And I have a new favorite tool to do that. Happy? Yes, very happy. Now I'm just gonna bend the second one following this bend. Mm -hmm. So it's the marble path from the symbol to the pickup spot and I just made some simple 90 degree hooks like this mm. from a four millimeter round bar and drilled some holes. It's pretty tight but it does work. It just goes in by friction fit and when I weld this on top the whole thing will lock in place and never move. My best friends, the little magnets. So the top fence is now lying comfortably on all the points. It's not in tension anywhere. And then we can start with this first point here. I'm going to wet this wood to make it a little bit less prone to burning. Like that, and then immediately cool it down. This is the makeshift marble path that's gonna go from the symbol to the marble collection. I'm happy with it. I was always thinking how to get a rail onto plywood and I actually just drilled holes in the side like this. So you can see the rail is just coming out of the plywood. So there's nothing underneath, nothing on top, just on the side like this. And it goes like this. And now I'm gonna have help from Marius to weld this in place. Now I'm gonna show you how to program the machine. We have a very important song to play. Uh, <laughs> first of all, we need to know which are the two snare channels. And then I can see the color coding up here. I know this is the last channel of the vibraphone. Then we have kick drum, no, cymbal, kick drum, snare. So I follow these two. And this is the snare. And then I check on the first snare channel, I start Play number one in that bar. Yeah, I'm gonna use 32 notes. So you see here is a different of 32 notes. Tick, tick. So I hope it's gonna be a ta-da on the snare drum. So then we have to find the symbol channels here. So ta-da. Do you know why you're not TIG welding plywood? No. That wouldn't be wise. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh, woo! Oh, yes.
Okay, so this was a really fun build. The real challenge with the symbol marble drops is that the symbol was sitting so low in the machine, so I needed to guide the marbles further down and drop them from a very low height. And I improvised this whole design. And for something improvised, it looks like it was meant to be there from the beginning. I just used all the available space and kind of trickled the marble paths down through the machine and it seems to work perfectly. And now we can go into the Marble Machine X progress chart and tick off another star. So wonderful. Thank you everyone for keeping me such great company while I'm struggling up this Marble Machine X hill. I hope I will reach the top one day. Thank you to everyone who are crowdfunding these videos and the Marble Machine X project through YouTube channel memberships and Patreon. Welcome to all the new people coming in each week. This crowdfunding campaign is now the sole most important source of funding for this whole project. So thank you so much. But as always, thank you everyone for watching and believing in the Marble Machine X. See you on the next Vintagata Wednesdays.